world, welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you my way overdue February wrap up. So the first book that I read in February uh, was Fellside by M. R. Carey, which is an arc that I borrowed from a co-worker and returned already so I can't show it, but I did read it. The book is actually coming out in April. I enjoyed it, although initially I didn't feel as kind of touched or connected um, to the story as I did with The Girl With All The Gifts, which is uh, another book by Emma Carey. I also felt like the characters were a bit flat. I had trouble kind of forming a picture of them in my mind. I have a theory that that is because the author mainly writes comics and obviously the way in which you present your characters is very different if you have that kind of visual support. But anyway, I did enjoy the story, although I do think it took a little bit too long um, for all the mysteries and conflicts going on uh, to get resolved. I love the ending though and I rate the book between three and four stars probably. After I finished Felsite, I started my annual Harry Potter reread. Um, this year I read this series in Dutch, which was a nice blast from the the past. I'm just quickly going to show you the covers because first of all the spines are terrible because I've had these books for a long time but also I quite like the Dutch editions so let me just <coughs> Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire. It looks horrible. I'm actually this is probably the worst of the bunch, the most damaged one because it's massive. The Order of the Phoenix, The Half-Blood Prince, The Deathly Hallows. I won't go into everything in detail because this is going to come back every year and I think we all know what this series is about but I just wanted to say that this time around I particularly enjoyed the sixth book, The Half-Blood Prince, um, especially the bits where they're just at school. From the end of the fourth book onwards there's so much happening outside of Hogwarts but I was surprised uh, to see that in the sixth book so much of it is just classes and common room talks and kind of Hogwartsy stuff like that. I had some trouble with The Order of the Phoenix this year, I don't, maybe it's because it's so big but it just took me a long time to get through it because it's kind of in between, like you know that um, Voldemort's already returned, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't read it, sorry, um, but nothing's really happening yet until the very end and you have all this massive stuff and all that umbrage nonsense to get through in the meantime. Finally in February I read Eleanor by Jason Gurley which I also got as an arc from work but I do believe that the book has already come out in the meantime. It's quite a strange book. Um, it's about three generations of women from the same family and you know there are mistakes piling on mistakes and one person trying to fix everything and it's very intriguing but after I finished it I didn't quite know how to feel about it. It's definitely a book that stuck with me um, and although it's kind of hard to define it is a book that I would recommend. I ended up rating it four out of five stars on Goodreads. As for my March TBR, I'm not really going to go into that because we're halfway through March already and it seems a bit pointless to announce a TBR at this point. Um, I did announce that I was going to do a Lunar Chronicles readathon, which I have been doing and I have been tweeting about it, so follow me on Twitter to, you know, read all that stuff. I'll also definitely be reading Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyeyemi this month. So that's all I've got planned, but I have plenty more books to get through, so who knows what will happen. In other news, you may have noticed that I hit 900 subscribers like yesterday, so that's pretty cool, thank you very much. I also think this is a great time to announce that I will be awarding a prize to whoever is in the lead in the OWL contest uh, when I hit 1000 subscribers, so don't forget to compete, don't forget to join in the fun and I don't know, just compete, okay? So that's all for today's video. It's a pretty short one because even though I did read like nine books in um, February, I decided not to go into every single one of them because seven of them are one series and I can just talk about that briefly in one go as you noticed. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Bye.